It's the National Football League on EA Sports, where London will play host to a different kind of football. It's the New York Jets and the Minnesota Vikings. Coming up next. Now from a stadium that's hosted NFL games since 2007, the International Series continues inside iconic Wembley Stadium, the capital city of London, England, hosting the NFL again. So good to have you with us, Mike Tirico and Greg Olson here in the booth. Carter, these are a couple of teams that struggled a year ago, finished out of the playoffs. They were under 500, but that's what you love about the NFL. A new season brings renewed optimism. Absolutely, and really, Mike, a lot of new faces at critical places. I mean, there is a lot of new pieces to the puzzle here, both coaching staff and the roster of players. They believe last year is over. They do not think there is any correlation between the squad they're planning to put on the field today and that one that we saw really go through some growing pains and struggles just a year ago. It is the rookie from Alabama, Will Riker, to get us started. And off we go here in London. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. Well, the Jets come out with Aaron Rodgers, of course. All the buildup in 2023, it lasted all of four snaps. But the man is a legend. A Super Bowl champ, 10-time Pro Bowler, Greg, his 20th NFL season. There's not many guys, Mike, in NFL history that while their career is still ongoing, they already are considered a no-brainer finding themselves in Canton one day. And this guy is certainly at the top of the list. Let's not forget, this is not some washed-up quarterback who can't let go of the past. He is still capable of playing at an all-pro level. And if he continues to do so, any team he's on is going to be a Super Bowl contender. And he'll be taken down rather swiftly after a gain of just three. It's not the big play they were hoping for, but first down efficiency, staying ahead of the chains, is what every offense is trying to find, and it brings up a manageable second down. They face second down and seven. Now the former first round pick, Reese Hall. And a pick his way forward, a gain of about five. And that's gonna set up third down. Working out of the gun, it's Rodgers. And this is going to be incomplete. That's great work to get in there and make things difficult defensively, setting up a fourth down. Remember what they told us, Mike, leading up to this game. They said it is so critical for us to find success, especially on third down. We want to maintain possession, extend these drives. Well, the first crack comes up, and they fail through the air. And... We're going to have to regroup and be able to have better success throughout the remainder of this game. Here's the Minnesota offense taking the field for the first time. They're led out by the number three overall pick back in the 2018 draft out of USC. It's Sam Darnold. I think it's fair to say that the trajectory of his career hasn't gone exactly according to plan. But you don't get drafted as the third overall pick unless you have a ridiculous amount of talent. He's bounced around a few places throughout his career. He's had some ups and downs. But when he's on his game, he is as talented a thrower as there is in the NFL. And an impressive outing today could go a long way in making him back a full-time starter. Mm. And he'll wind up out of bounds past the 45-yard line. How about 25 yards to start the drive? First down. And it doesn't really matter who you put on him, Mike. When you want to play one-on-one -on -one man coverage against a receiver like this, there's not a whole lot else you can do. It's hard to put help over the top because the ball's being thrown out by the sidelines. I like playing in and out. I like playing zone. Somebody underneath, somebody over the top. Share the responsibility. But that's not what they're doing. That's straight man coverage. Quarterback sees the matchup. There's no question where the ball is going to go. They told us this week they were going to try to come out fast. And I'll tell you what, that's exactly what they did. Put immediate pressure on this secondary and let them know, hey, all game long today, 
you better defend every blade of grass because we're coming out firing. And even though that ball falls incomplete, it goes a long way in setting up the rest of this game plan as the game unfolds. Little short pass here, caught by his tight end. And he's going to be dropped after a pickup of about five. Here now, third and five. To throw again is Darnold. He's got a receiver, it's Addison. They get 12 yards on that pass. It'll be a Vikings first down. I think they're going to have to be more creative here on the back end with the types of coverages they show this quarterback. When you just show pre-snap, it is straight man coverage, and then you stay in it once the ball is snapped. It just makes it so easy on these quarterbacks, Mike, to just find the matchup that they like and exploit it. Change the look pre-snap to post-snap. Mix in zone, mix in man. They gotta make it more challenging on the quarterback going forward. Second and seven. Darnold to throw again. Throw to the sideline, well done. Good job with the feet, stays in bounds. It looks like, and yes they do, have the first down. Give them 16 there, and a first down. They've done a nice job spreading the ball around. Make the defense have to account for as many different weapons as possible here early. I think back to our conversation with this coaching staff, Mike. They identified this guy as someone they needed to get involved early and often, so that might be his first target. I don't think it's going to be his last. Darnold to the air once more. To the back of the end zone. He's got it. Justin Jefferson. Touchdown, Vikings. Greg, it's one of those, sometimes you got to feel like you know where the ball's going to go. And the defense knows it too. But it still ends up in that guy's hands for the touchdown. Absolutely, Mike. In these critical situations, like down here in the red zone, it's players, not plays. It doesn't matter what you drop on the board. You say, okay, who's my best player? Put him in a good matchup, let him go win, and give him a chance. That's exactly what they do here. And I think we're going to see a lot of this the rest of the game. On now for the extra point, here's Will Riker. The kick is good. The Vikings will take a 7-0 lead. Kickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kick's away. Set to return is Xavier Gibson. And he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drive. The Jets offense ready to get going with their second possession. They were forced to punt the first time through. It led to a touchdown, so down 7-0 as they get the ball back for first and 10. Boy, some bulk in the formation on that right side here for first and ten. Now Rodgers. Short pass taken in by the tight end. Well, let's give some credit to the big boys up front in the trenches. They knew that blitz was coming. They held up just long enough that the quarterback could get that ball out safely and results in a completion. Look him up on a second down and eight. the shotgun it's a rock gets that one to the veteran Lazar and a good job rallying to the football holding just a gain of a yard sets up third down the receiver thought he had a nice soft spot in that zone coverage and he settles down to give a nice target to the quarterback 
but the defense had eyes on him the entire time. Secure rally tackle prevents that from turning into a big play. On third down, Rodgers. A throw left side, going to be intercepted. Picked off by Cameron Bynum. And his offense is going to be all set up with a short field and a chance to extend their lead. So the first part of any interception is just end up with the ball in your hands, right? That's what every defensive coordinator wants. But anytime you can get yards on the return, that's just an added bonus. And that's what we see here. There's a little space, does a great job securing the catch, and all of those yards just set up for better field position as their offense takes the field. The Vikings offense ready for their second possession. They've got the lead, and they'll set forth trying to build on it. They're going to do that with excellent field position. So they come to the line for first down and 10. The man who traded green and gold for Viking purple, it's Aaron Jones. A gain of four as he's taken down. Here's a second and six. Again, it's Jones. And this takes him into the red zone. He's brought down inside the 20-yard line. And after parting ways with the Packers, Jones kind of surprised some by staying in the NFC North. He signs with Minnesota, and he joins an offense that is loaded with talented skill players. So if he can continue to be the playmaker he's been throughout his career, they've got themselves a nice young group here in Minnesota, especially on the offensive side of the ball. The hole closes quickly. He'll pick up about three. From the shotgun, here's Darnold. They go sideline, and he stays inbound got the feet down in time it's a first down a game there of 13 yards sudden change so you find yourself defensively a little bit on your heels your offense just turned the ball over now you've got to go out and make a stand well so far this offense has moved the ball pretty quickly but can they dig in that is caught by the tight end touchdown minnesota it seems to me they were kind of holding this play call for this exact situation, Mike. First and goal down here near the goal line, and they had this one worked up all week. Simple pitch and catch, and it works to perfection. Riker now to add the extra point. He's got it. And the Vikings move out on top. 14 to nothing. ready to go once more as the kicks away Davis now to return it and he's down at the 23 and that's where the offense will take over so now the Jets offense ready to take over once more they trail by two touchdowns so the time is now got to get that rally going it starts with first and ten
A tight end in motion now. The drive begins with a run, and it's all. And he finds some space tackled after a gain of seven on first down. Now an injury timeout, and that's Brees Hall, who is struggling a bit after that play. So as they look at the injured player, we'll take a timeout. Here's second and three to go. On the ground, it is the rookie from Wisconsin. I think this second down call, Mike, they were hoping that at worst, they had themselves set up for a third down and short. But there's no need for third down. He was able to get enough on second, and they get a fresh set of downs. So from the 39, they come up on first, and 10. Conklin goes in motion. On the carry, here's Israel Abanaconda. And he's going to struggle to get back to the line, maybe a yard. Linebacker Ivan Pace up to make that play. Here's a second and nine. From the gun, Rodgers. That's caught by the tight end, Tyler Conklin. And he'll be taken down, but they are in business inside the 30-yard line. Those are the explosive pass plays that this team is going to continue to mine all day. And you can see pre-snap, the quarterback loved his matchup. He allowed his receiver to work downfield. Perfect throw, and now sets them up to try to see if they can finish this drive off with some points. First and ten. On the ground, it's a Bonaconda. Not much there. Maybe a yard. Here's second and nine. Play action now with Rodgers. Now he'll run. And he'll gain yardage and able to get down at the end of the play. Well, give him some credit. Initially, that looked like it was going to be a sack. He's able to escape the pressure and get away. Picks up a little bit of yardage. But at least he avoids taking that shot. Here's a third down and four. Throwing Rodgers. That's taken in by Conklin, the tight end. So a big third down hookup takes us to the break. It's the Vikings with the edge. More from the International Series in London after this. They're at the 17-yard line now for first and 10. Rodgers. That one taken in by Corley. And the Jets are going to be set up. First and goal coming up. They'll mark him down at the 6-yard line. Nice play here by Malachi Corley, the young rookie wide receiver. And something we're going to continue to see out of him as the rest of the year unfolds is, Mike, he has such a knack for turning short throws into long gains and his ability to be a ball carrier after the catch it's really what separates certain guys from others in this league and for a young player to have that innate kind of sense to be a ball carrier find any ways you can get him the ball screen smokes bubbles doesn't matter get the ball in his hands and usually good things happen from the one second in goal to the air once more. It's Rodgers. And he'll take it on in. Tyler Conklin. Touchdown Jets.
Greg Zerline now for the point after. It's up and through. And the Jets are on the board. It's now 14-7. kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away Ty Chandler now to bring it back he'll get this up to the 28 yard line nice place for the drive to start out comes the Minnesota offensive unit as they get set to take over they lead by a touchdown as this drive begins with first and ten Fake to Jones, and now Darnold. He'll get this complete to Trent Shurfield. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. Do a nice job there to move the chains early in this drive, but now as they approach midfield, continue to keep your foot on the gas. Don't get conservative. Don't start sitting on the ball. Cross midfield and go. Anytime you find yourself on your opponent's side of the field, you have to be thinking points. He runs straight ahead with Jones. And he'll take this forward only to about the 46 yard line. Second down and eight. They run it once more with Jones. And he tries to get back to the line of scrimmage, but will not happen here. I think he's going to lose a yard. Where a defender makes his tackles tells you a lot about his abilities. And for an interior defensive lineman, Mike, to make plays on the outside of the formation just speaks to his speed, his effort, his ability to run down the line. And we saw it here, and he takes the back down for a loss. Throwing on third down is Darnold. Open man left side. He's got it. That's his first reception of the ball game, and it really comes at a good time as they get the conversion on third down. So far here early, Mike, the key for this offense has been their ability to maintain possession by converting on these third downs. It's going to be a big storyline the rest of the way. This defense has to find a way. When they force third down, they got to get off the field. And this defense having nothing of that. They get him down behind the line. After the loss of three, it is second and 13. Working out of the gun, it's Darnold. Downfield by Jefferson. And they are in great shape. He's taken down inside the 10. Well, the run after catch is certainly nice, and they're definitely going to take it. But watch the savviness of the route running. Certain guys just have a better field for running these slant routes than others, and it's a nice result. They've got it at the 8. First down and goal. They'll put Addison in motion. Off the play fake, it's Darnold. Taking off, and he will win the race to the pylon. He's in. Sam Darnold, touchdown Vikings. That is a heartbreaker for the defense. They took away what he wanted to do in the air, Greg, but that scrambling ability gets him to the end zone for the touchdown. 
And the reason he was able to take advantage with his legs here, Mike, is he made a fast decision realizing there was nowhere to go with the ball. The amount of guys the defense had in coverage took those passes away. He tucked the ball down, took advantage of the space, and he was able to take it all the way. Will Riker now on for the extra point. He gets it to go. And the Vikings will take a 21-7 lead. ready to go once more as the kicks away Davis now to return it he'll work his way across the 25 yard line so now Rodgers and the Jets ready to take over once more they'll do so with first and ten Here's Rodgers. He's got the longtime charger, Mike Williams. And he's going to get this one out to the 43-yard line. Nice catch there by Williams, and he's able to move the chains. And while he finds himself now in a new uniform here in New York, it's just nice to see him able to return from injury just a year ago. He was signed by the Jets this offseason after coming off a really good run with the Chargers. He's already making his presence felt. He picks up a fresh set of downs. And they're going to work this down inside the 45. We've seen this trend throughout the league, Mike. Offensively, everyone wants to have depth at the running back position. Yeah, it's great to have one guy. But if you could have two or three that could all come in and contribute on the ground, that's the goal, and we're seeing it here. Rodgers on first down. That's into the hands of Xavier Gibson. Following the completion, we'll get a stoppage here for an injured player. As the athletic training staff looks at him, we'll step away for a moment. Here's a second and three forthcoming. The master of play action, Rodgers. He'll let this one go long for Williams. And the Vikings will take over at their own 14-yard line. So much of that play comes down to the defender's positioning. Being able to get himself to a spot to get his hands on the ball and a chance at that pick. Mike, when that ball was thrown, me and you are sitting here saying, that's a touchdown, and instead, they force a turnover, and now their offense is back on the field. The Vikings offense about ready to take over once more. They'll begin inside their own 15-yard line, so a lot of real estate to cover. It's first and 10. begins with a carry by Jones and he finds a little bit of space he'll take this forward for a gain of four here's second and six they'll go play action with Darnold 
going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. Pretty clear approach here, Mike. You're just trying to take advantage of the size of your tight end versus a smaller defender, and you're just saying box him out and go up for an offensive rebound and get the ball at its highest point. In this case, it falls incomplete, but if they continue to get that matchup, this quarterback's not going to shy away from giving his big tight end a shot. And he'll be taken down at the 30. As that play unfolded, Mike, I thought he was going to have a chance to find the end zone for the second time here today. And even though he might not have scored, these are the drives that typically end in points. And I'll be honest, if I'm the play caller, by the end of this drive, I might give him one more shot at the end zone. But either way, they got to be thinking coming away here with six. They'll come up here first and ten. Two minutes to go here till halftime. Greg and I back to London, England after this. On first and ten, here's Darnold. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. You can't fault the quarterback on this one, Mike. He really didn't even have much of an opportunity. By the time he hit the top of his drop and got his eyes downfield, the defense was all over him, and he really had no choice but to just get that ball out of his hand and live to play another snap. Darnold to throw again. He'll get this over the middle to Jefferson. And this takes him into the red zone. He's brought down inside the 20-yard line. That last completion's going to go a long way towards at least finishing this two-minute drive, Mike, with some points. You're already in field goal range, so now the idea is continue to work the clock down, take a couple shots at the end zone. You want to get points, ideally a touch. Oh, after the catch, he's hit, and the ball is out. Mike, we hear that term run after catch so often, and sometimes people miss that there's kind of a middle phase. There's the catch. But before it turns into a run, you have to secure the ball as a ball carrier, right? It needs to be put away, properly held, points of pressure, front tip up against your body. All of that is kind of taken for granted. Catching it is just step one. You've got to secure the ball before you become a runner. Rodgers going to give this to Allen. He'll struggle to get positive yardage here, only up to about the five. Another run, and again, it's Allen. Trying to bounce that outside. It went a long way for a gain of nothing. Third and nine. Working out of the gun, it's Rodgers. Now a timeout, Jets. It'll be their second. It'll come with 36 ticks left on the first half clock. The break, the huddle. Coming up now for first and ten. Rodgers... Now he takes off, and he's able to gain yardage out of this one before he slides. Well, let's give credit here to the coverage unit, Mike. There was nowhere to go with the ball for that quarterback. He had no choice but to just tuck it down himself, and he's able only to pick up a short game.
One final throw before the break. He'll run again. So we at halftime here at Wembley in the latest installment of the NFL International Series. As we head back stateside to Orlando, Florida, check in with Jonathan Coachman. The coach has the EA Sports halftime report. All right, Mike, thanks very much, and welcome in, everyone, to our EA Sports Halftime Report. In the first half, it was the veteran Sam Darnold who had the offense moving. He threw two touchdown passes, ran for another, as his guys have the lead at halftime. All right, Coach, thank you very much. We welcome you back. It is quarter number three. Third quarter set to commence. And we're back underway here on EA Sports. Chandler now to return it. And this will work out quite well. He'll get it all the way out to the 30-yard line. The Vikings offense and Sam Darnold heading back on the field. And he has been in control this offense. Want to run you through some of the action from earlier on. You've got the two touchdown passes, over 200 passing yards. He has been excellent all game long. To throw on first down is Darnold got a man that's Sherfield and he's going to be brought down up past the 45. Mike think back to our conversation during the break we've kind of both asked ourselves are they content with this double digit lead do they come out and play conservative here in the second half well it took exactly one play to get our answer they continue to get chunk plays like this this thing could get out of reach fast. They go three tight ends here on first and ten. In motion, it's Jefferson. Using the jet sweep for the fake, they run it up the middle. And he'll get this across midfield as it's brought down, following a pickup of five. They'll break the huddle. It's second and five. Off the play fake. Here's Darnold. That's to the left side and taken in by Jefferson. He's got a touchdown on the books from earlier, and that catch gets him a first down. Now, so far here today, putting points on the board certainly hasn't been a problem, and plays like that are why. Think about it, Mike. Sometimes you just have to take what the defense gives you and not force something that's not there, and that mid-range pass results in a fresh set of downs. Well, that looked like a pretty clear hold. The gain was five, but let's check the call. Still first down. They'll put Addison in motion. On play action, here's Darnold. To the left side here. Caught by Addison. <laughs> Operating from the gun, it's Darnold. And this one is intercepted. It's D.J. Reed. And the Jets are going to get it back here just past the 35. So we saw in the first half, Mike, they were willing to take some risks. It allowed them to build this halftime lead. Now the opposing sideline, they're looking to fight back. They're looking to cut that lead down. That's what that coverage seemed. It looked like they baited that quarterback 
to force that errant throw and lead to that turnover. Now it's their offense coming back on the field with a chance to cut this deficit. The Jets offense getting ready for their opening possession of this second half. They'll see if they can put something together here, beginning with first and ten. From the shotgun, it's A-Rod. Over the middle, that's Corley. That's a nice pickup on a first down throw. It's a gain of eight. It takes a certain guy in that slot position to be willing and able to go across the middle of the defense on those in-breaking routes. You can tell this guy, he doesn't care. He is fearless going across the middle, and he's able to secure a nice catch. Shotgun snap, and a give to Hall. And he'll have enough to move the chains. He'll take this forward for about three yards. This is a situation that play callers love to be in, Mike. They have all their options on the table. Second and short, play action pass, you can run. In this case, they choose to keep it on the ground, play it safe, pick up the first down. A-Rod now to throw on first down. That's a short one taken in by Conklin. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. Off the play fake, Rogers. Back to the left side, pulled in by Conklin. Out of bounds, but not until he gets inside the 25-yard line. Really showing off the elusiveness after the catch. That's a gain of 26. Whatever they've talked about in the locker room at the halftime break seems to have worked. They've come out with a new established energy. You could see it when they took the field. Now this offense seems to be building on it because with that chunk play, just a little bit of rhythm that they can build off of they got a long way to go to get back into this game, but so far off to a good start. And he'll get forward for a couple. It's second down. <laughs> On play action, Rodgers. That's right side and brought in by Williams. Here's a third down and four. Looking to throw Rodgers. And that is incomplete. It's rare to see an offense that finds themselves trailing and say, well, their quarterback's been actually one of their biggest bright spots. Usually that doesn't go hand in hand. So it's a little surprising to see him miss a throw like that on a day where he's completed passes at a highly efficient rate. Zerline's kick is good. And the Jets cut the deficit a bit. The new score is now 21 to 10. And when you find yourself down double digits, you don't want to make habit of settling for these field goals. It does allow them to chip away a little bit and cut into this deficit, but they've got to find a way to score touchdowns. The kickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kick's away. To return, it's Brandon Powell. And a solid run back there. He'll get this out past the 30-yard line. The home team's offense and their quarterback ready to go once more. And he's had it going in the first half. Really had his way with the secondary. They have been powerless to stop him. Now they're trying to keep it going.
a fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. They'll run it with Jones to begin this drive. And nothing on that one. Back to the line of scrimmage. And that is it. All the qualities that make a good safety are seen on display on this play. Speed, pursuit, and then the intensity and the strength at the point of contact for the tackle to keep this ball carrier to no gain. That is a complete safety play. On second down, it's Darnold. That's to the right side and incomplete. A rare miss for a quarterback that we've seen really come out on fire throughout this entire contest. I mean, his completion percentage, Mike, is well above league average, and frankly, it's really the biggest reason why they find themselves out front. Here's a third and ten. Working out of the gun, it's Darnold. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Here's the quarterback doing everything in his power to extend this play, and none of his guys could get open. You got to see someone separate, work with your quarterback, go into scramble second reaction mode, and it's also give some credit to the back end, doing a nice job plastering with their assignment, and he had no choice but to throw it away. A fair catch signal, and they'll have it just outside their own 20. The Jets offense ready for this next possession. The deficit is double digits, so work to do as they begin this drive with first and 10. They'll send a tight end in motion. We're going to start this drive on the ground. It's Hall. Nice gain here. He's going to be marked down at the 35-yard line. Well, after not having much success in the first half, they're able to get something going on the ground here to start the third quarter. I'd love to see the play caller mix in some play action, mix in some pass game. That should open up some of these holes for better situations to run the ball. First down for Aaron. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. He decides to go with this safe throw and throws it well short of the sticks. And at this level, Mike, you just can't miss layups like that. On second down, a run with Hall. And he gets this up close to the 40. Linebacker Ivan Pace up to make that play. Third and six. From the gun, Rogers. That one on target to Williams. He's got it. It's a gain of 12 there. Good for a Jets first down. You can see this connection is just starting really to pick up. They're seeing the game through the same set of eyes, and that is the job of the receiver. What is my quarterback expecting from me? Where does he want me? Be there on time, and it leads to big gains like this. A first down throw from Rodgers. This to the right side, but it's going to wind up incomplete. Up until that incompletion, they've done a really nice job on this drive, Mike, picking up fresh sets of downs. And typically, throwing the ball on first down is a great way to do it. It's actually the easiest down in football to operate in. But now they find themselves in second and ten. Do you keep it in the air and try to get the first down here? Or is the idea to just make third down manageable and take your chances picking up a key third down? This is one of those throws where you're hoping you do most of the damage after the catch, but give credit to the defense. Once that ball was caught, they were on him quickly, and there was nowhere for him to go after the catch. What can they do here on third down and seven? Rodgers going up top again. He's got his man. Right side. It's complete. That's catch three just on this drop. And it gets his team a first down. 
Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They clearly have a mismatch in their favor, and every time they've looked his way, he's continued to make big plays. I'm this coordinator. I think I'm giving him one more shot and see if he can push this thing over the goal line and come away with six. Here's first and ten. To the air once more, it's Rodgers. Over the middle, that's the tight end, Conklin. When you put plays like this on tape, it sends a message to every defender across the league. When you play this offense and this guy has the ball, you better bring it when you come to contact him, because if not, you're going to be on the wrong end of it. They'll come up here on second down and five. The master of play action, Rodgers. And for a third time today, he's intercepted. That's the linebacker, Blake Cashman. Oh, big hole, left side. And he is going to score. A pick six for the touchdown. And the defense finds the end zone. Great work inside by the linebacker, who takes it back the other way for the touchdown. Yeah, and he just never saw the linebacker in the middle of the field, Mike, and the quarterback was locked in on his receiver. And once that ball came out of his hand, I think he wanted it back. Riker now to add the extra point. His kick is good. And the Vikings will extend this third quarter lead. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. Davis now to return it. Oh, he's got room past the 30. Oh, very good field position to start as the return is past the 40. So we are through three. Back with more of the NFL International Series after this. On first and ten, here's Rodgers. Open man, that's Gibson. And he's down inside the 40-yard line. And this is a tricky part of the game for any defense. You find yourself protecting a late lead, and the age-old question is, do you remain aggressive? Do you try to just keep the ball from being thrown over your head and make everything be tackled and played in front of you? That's what every defensive coordinator struggles with, so they can't get too soft here as they try to hold on to this lead here late. Rodgers on first down. A throw left, taken in by Wilson. Nice job here by the defense. Did a good job just covering up everything for the most part, so once this ball was caught, really didn't have much of a choice but to just head out of bounds and pick up a modest game. Working out of the gun, it's Rod. Pressure gets there, and down he goes. He's certainly making a strong case to be in the conversation for defensive player of the week. I mean, a touchdown earlier, now a sack. You talk about impact in the game in all areas. This guy's having himself a ball game. Work to do following the sack. It is third and long. 
Now Rodgers. That's to the running back, Brees Hall. And a good job here defensively. They did not let him get away. He's well short of the first down mark. I think this is one of those plays that when the ball carrier watches this back in the film room tomorrow, he's going to be a little frustrated with himself. If he could just have made that one guy miss, he picks up the first down. Instead, he gets brought down short of the sticks. Now they got a fourth down decision to make. That's incomplete. Gary Hall on fourth down does not work out. And it results in a turnover on downs. The home team's offense getting set to get back to work. As we look back at some of the highlights in this one, you'll see a lot of them, Greg, coming for the passing game. They've done a nice job picking the defense apart. Yeah, and I think that's the right way to say it. It hasn't necessarily been just a bunch of deep shots, a bunch of explosives. It's been more methodical. It's been precise. They've really been all over their execution, and this is about as close to a complete performance as you're going to see from any offense throughout the course of this season. Set to go now on first and ten. On the give, it's Jones. And they will finally track him down inside the 40-yard line. And this is the point of the game, Mike, where you really can start leaning on your run game and try to close this game out. You've got the lead. You're in the fourth quarter. And they're able to pop off a big run. Ball rests at the 37. It's first and 10. They'll try the left side with Jones. Well, they weren't going to get him the second time with the same back. Defense all over that one. They stop him for no gain. Still first down. So a lot of options on the table now. It's first and five. On the handoff, Jones. And he is going to be stuffed well behind the line of scrimmage. That play going absolutely nowhere. Great job by that linebacker timing his blitz. He didn't give any indication to the offense that he was coming. And he's able to get through that hole and take the ball carrier down for a loss. Again, it's Jones. And he'll only manage to pick up three yards. And that leads to third down. From the shotgun, here's Darnold. He manages to get the throw away and completes it. Mike, I think we make so much of all these fancy routes, right? Head fakes, getting in and out of the break. And while that's really important to create separation, that's really more of a man beater. That's when teams want to just play you one on one and you have to beat the defender. Against zone defense, like we saw here, it's a lot more simpler. Understand the concept of the play, understand where the holes in the defense are, and get the. And the rush gets home. He'll go down. They got him. Sometimes you just have to know when the play is over and live to play another down. He has pressure coming right at him. And instead of just throwing the ball away, he tries to escape, he tries to get creative, and he ends up losing a lot more yards than he should have. Work to do now as they come up on second and long. They'll put Addison in motion. They fake the jet sweep and give it up the middle. He'll pop this ahead for about four, but it will set up third down.
Here's Darnold. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. So defensively, there's always the initial pass coverage plan. And then when that breaks down and the quarterback goes into scramble mode, how fast can you then move on to the second phase and what they call plaster, meaning find the nearest receiver and almost play a man-to-man. -man. And it's exactly what they did here. And there was nowhere for the ball to go. And he's forced to just throw it away. Reichert's kick is good. And the Vikings add on to their lead. I think at this point in the game, Mike, when you have things under control, not only were they able to hold on to the ball for a while, they still were able to manage to add three points. kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away Davis now to return it nice job by the return team as he takes it across the 30 yard line the Jets offense ready to get back to work things not looking good but see if they get the turnaround going here they'll start this drive with first down Rodgers to throw. This complete to Corley. And he'll be set up now. Up past the 40 with that one. It's been tough sledding for this offense all day today, Mike, but especially here in the second half. So they are just in desperate need of a spark. Just something to get their offense into a little bit of a rhythm if they want to have any chance to find themselves back into this game here late. And that one knocked away. It's incomplete. This is one of those situations that plays directly into the hands of the defense because think, like, they know this offense has to be one-dimensional. This has to be a pass. So what do they do? They bring in extra defensive backs. They clog up the back end. And at the end of the day, there's just nowhere for the offense to go with the ball. Second down, Rodgers. Oh, and this one's going to wind up incomplete. That's one you'd think you'd be able to corral. But he can't find the handle, and it's going to lead to a third down. He was looking for Malachi Corley, and it'll be third down. They'll throw again. Here's Rodgers. He'll try to run for it. He'll get a dozen out of that one, scrambling his way to a first down. the shotgun it's a rock and that time the pressure too much he'll go down defense came out in a soft zone and i think it caught the quarterback a little off guard he was trying to attack them downfield by the time he was able to get through his progression to his check down he ran out of time and that's all the pass rush needed to get into the backfield and bring him down rogers now that caught over the middle, it's Wilson. Now the Jets going to use the first of their timeouts. So it'll come with an even 90 seconds remaining on the clock. Now a third and two. Throwing Rodgers. That's taken in by Conklin, the tight end. Offensively landing a lot of body blows on this drive, Mike. Just the ability to steadily march the ball downfield and remain so efficient, both run and pass. As they continue to wear this defense out, they have to find a way to end this drive with points. Anything short of that would be a bit of a letdown. For the most part, he's been very accurate with the ball. I mean, he's completing over 60% of his passes, but because they haven't been able to get any big explosive plays, continue to push the ball downfield, hasn't really translated on the scoreboard just yet. They'll try again here. Second and 10. 
Again, it's Rodgers. The throw on the run is complete. And this takes him into the red zone. He's brought down inside the 20-yard line. First and ten. Rodgers. And this is going to be a touchdown. It's too little too late. We do get a bit closer as they score here in the final minute of play. Mike, we used to have a saying that it was the responsibility of the receiver to run the route through the eyes of the quarterback. And I think this is a great example here. Two guys clearly on the same page. Quarterback expected his target to be in a certain place at a certain time. He's there, balls delivered accurately. He's able to pick up the rest with his legs, and that's a big time connection for the touchdown. Zerline's kick, up and good. And the Jets are able to cut into the deficit. This one not quite over, but down a couple of scores. We're going to get an onside kick. Well, we knew, Mike, this was going to take a miracle. All they needed to do was recover this, score, recover another one, score again. Unfortunately, that's not going to happen, and this game's all but over. The home team's offense and their quarterback headed out for their next possession. And it's been a struggle all afternoon. The defense done a great job taking him away from his game, taking his weapons away, and he has yet to find anything to lean on in this one. Victory very much in sight now as they'll take a knee. Jets are going to use their third and final timeout here. Buck is stopped. 55 seconds remaining here in the game. Lost one on the last play, so now it's second and 11. They'll take a knee as the clock runs under a minute to play. behind the scenes i'm mike tarico you've been watching the nfl on ea sports follow us on x at ea madden nfl so long from london